I say that my Parkinson's diagnosis was a strange gift. And it was, and it is for, for me. You know, when I got my par Parkinson's diagnosis, I was 38 years old, and I, my dream for so long had been to open up a pub. I had spent years, almost two decades, in the restaurant business, and here it is. I finally bring my dream to life. I have my own business. I'm living the dream. I'm about a little over a year into it. And in December of 2013, I was diagnosed at 38 years old with young onset Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's made me realize, and it, it's like it gave me permission in some way to, to prioritize living over working. And when in 2017, a semi-truck crashed into the building I was leasing for my dream pub, uh, when that happened, you know, I tried to reopen it, but, you know, I had a nightmare scenario with my insurance company and it just didn't work out. So I decided it was, it was best to walk away in order to live life and to not spend, you know, the next 60 or 70 hours each week of my life working in, you know, something that was my dream. It was time to do something new and it was time to live like I had never lived before. And I, you know, had my first dog which, you know, she's just been so wonderful. I ended up getting married after my Parkinson's diagnosis. And I have a wonderful partner who loves me for who I am, all my flaws, and all my madness, and it's, it's wonderful. Um, the Parkinson's community, too, the strange gift that Parkinson's has given me has been this community of amazing people who understand what it is like to have this disease that is incredibly challenging but the gift is is that it, it just it crystallizes for real I think we all know how short life is and we all know this but and it's so cliche and it's cliche because it's true right when you when you get a diagnosis like Parkinson's or other illnesses you, it's just, it just hits you it hits you how short life is and what they say is that, you know, people are on their, on their deathbeds. No, one's, no one says, oh, I wish I worked more. It's always about living more and spending time with your family, your friends, traveling more, doing the things that you've wanted to do and that feed your soul, make you happy. And so that's what I've been doing. Here we go. Here, here's me being me. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you to Parkinson's for this strange gift that you have given me to see things that I don't think I would have ever have seen without you in my life. And I know for a fact I never would have met the wonderful people that I have met without you. And so I have much to be thankful for. I wish that you didn't come my way, but you did. And I'm still going to um, say thank you for it because you are, Parkinson's, a strange gift.